still smell the burning bodies, and that's where your head is at. I just want to thank her. Uh, I'm sure you do. It's not about that. Of course, it's about that, you twat. Why shouldn't it be? If dead are dead, you're not.
Drink. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck 
North men as well. Many of them are wounded. They'll fight better if they have time to rest and recuperate. How long do you suggest? Can't say for certain <laughs> not without talking to the officers. I came north to fight alongside you. At great cost to my armies and myself. <clears throat> now that the time has come to reciprocate, you want to postpone. It's not just our people, it's yours. You want to throw them into a war, they're not ready to fight. The longer I leave my enemies alone, the stronger they become. The Northern forces will honor their promises and their allegiance to the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. What you command, we will obey. Jamie has chosen to remain here as a guest of the Lady of Winterfell. We have won the Great War. Now we will win the last war. In all seven kingdoms, men will live without fear and cruelty under their rightful queen. Understand we'd all be dead if not for her. We'd be corpses marching down to King's Landing. Are you the one that killed the Night King? Her men gave their lives defending Winterfell. And we will never forget. That doesn't mean that I want to kneel to someone. I swore myself and the North to her corpse. I respect that. You respect it. We needed her. We needed her army. Her dragons. You did the right thing. And we're doing the right thing telling you we don't trust your queen. You don't know her yet. I'll never know her. She's not one of us. If you only trust the people you grew up with, you won't make many allies. That's all right. I don't need many allies. Who are you? We're family. The four of us. The last of the Starks. Yeah. 
years. Give me a moment. You're a dog. I am the end of my demand to know. I knew you were fucking her. <laughs> pair of tall blood chops. Oh. Must be like looking in the mirror. It's a brawn of the black water. Where's your drink? What are you, what are you doing up your What are you doing with that? Oh, this? This is for you. Oh, both of you. You're supposed to be some. You boys are a pair of gold-plated cunts. Do you know that? That's a bit rude. Year after year, I've shoveled Lannister ship. What do I have to show? You're a knight, thanks to me. Thanks to me. That title's worth as much as a blonde hair from your brother's butts. How are his eyes when men believe? Shut your mouth. I'm just trying. I've never hit a dwarf before, but say another word, and I will belt you. See, I don't believe you'd do that. <laughs> you couldn't do it on your best day, you one-handed fuck, and your best days are long gone. Oh, you broke my nose! I did not break your nose. How do you know? Because I've been breaking noses since I was your size, and I know what it sounds like. Now listen. <laughs> your sister offered me a river run. Nice big castle, good lands, plenty of peasants who do what they're told. You trust sirs. I knew your sister was dead the second I saw those dragons. Now, your army may be torn to shit, but I'd still bet on your dragon queen to win. And it just so happens I'm a bit mad. If Cersei's dead, she can't pay up. That's good. Of course, the odds change if the Dragon Queen's hand turns up dead. Maybe a few of her top generals get picked off one by one. All of a sudden, may I speak? Why not? Only death will shut you up. We made a deal long ago. Do you remember? If anyone offered me money to kill you, you'd pay me double. What's double river on? I got it. You can be Lord of the Reach. Hi, God, are you mad? It's better than being dead. Is that going to kill us? You won't be talking. Uh -oh. The way I see it, I only need one of the Lannister brothers alive. My God will never belong to a cutthroat. No? Who are your ancestors? The ones who made your family rich. Fancy lads in silk? They were fucking cutthroats. That's how all the grey houses started, isn't it? I'll come find you when the war is done. Till then, don't die.
our message was well received then. Your people have heard the usurper is coming. They are grateful for your protection within the walls of the Red King. You're certain about the dragon? I saw it sink beneath the waves. That must have been glorious. The glory is yours, my queen. When the war is won, the lion shall rule the land, the kraken shall rule the sea. And our child shall one day rule them all. <laughs> His kid's not your kid. <laughs> Cersei is bringing him into the Red Keep. These are the people you came here to protect. I beg you, Your Grace, do not destroy the city you came to save. Do not become what you have always struggled to defeat. Do you believe we're here for a reason, Lord I'm here to free the world from tyrants. That is my destiny. And I will serve it no matter the cost. It could be a fortnight before John and the Allied armies make it to King's Landing. In the meantime, demand Cersei surrender. Offer her her life in exchange for the throne. If there's a chance to avoid the coming slaughter, we should make the effort. Speaking to Cersei will not prevent a slaughter. But perhaps it's good that people see that Daenerys Stormborn made every effort to avoid bloodshed. And Cersei Lannister refused. I should know him to blame when the sky falls down upon them. We don't know their names, but they're just as real as you and I. They deserve to live. They deserve food for their children. 
I will act in their interest no matter the personal cost. So what happens to her? as I can. Each of us has a choice to make. I pray we choose wisely. One of the dragons was killed, several ships destroyed, and Sunday captured. I always wanted to be there when they execute your sister. Mm -hmm. Seems like I won't get the chance. You're not like your sister. You're not. You're better than she is. You're a good man and you can't save her. You don't need to die with her. Stay here. Stay with me. Please. Stay.
Queen Daenerys demands Cersei's unconditional surrender and the immediate release of Missandei of Nath. Queen Cersei demands Daenerys' unconditional surrender. If she refuses, Missandei of Nath will die here and now. Kyburn, you're a rational man. Oh, so I flatter myself, my lord. We have a chance here. Perhaps our last chance to avoid carnage. Yes. Help me. I don't want to see the city burn. I don't want to hear the screams of children burning alive. No, it is not a pleasant sound. I, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Help me save this city. My lord, I am only a mouthpiece for our queen. Your queen? Cersei is queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You are her subject. Her reign is over. You understand this. Help her understand it. We understand nothing of the sort. Your queen's last dragon is vulnerable. Your army is a battle-weary and depleted. While ours have been reinforced with the Golden Cup. <laughs> than for your child. The reign is over, but that doesn't mean your life has to end. It doesn't mean your baby has to die.
to the ground. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 